everyone. This is Shantae, aka Shanteezy. Welcome to Shantae Analysis for Monday, May 11, 2020. I have some um, stuff for you. It was a kind of a jam-packed day today, but I did not do my live yesterday because it was Mother's Day and I wanted to pay homage to all the mothers, including mine. I wasn't able to see my mom. I haven't saw my mom in two months, but I am so happy that she's still alive and she's well. And I hope you all had a great Mother's Day. And I hope you all had a great Monday today. I know some of you guys are working remotely. I know some people are unemployed, but they're doing projects in their house. They're starting to say, oh, entrepreneurship, more power to you throughout this pandemic. In the spirit of quarantine, I do have some analysis for you guys. So I hope you guys are ready because it's kind of a lot to jam pack. Okay, so here we go. You know, it's the coronavirus. We on day 72, I think, of lockdown. Well, where I'm at, I'm on day like 72. I don't know if you guys are still locked down. I don't know if you guys are, you know, or your states have, like, lifted the, the um, what's that? They lifted their state, they shelter in place orders. I mean, power to them. I hope you guys are still wearing your mask, even though the CDC still has people who are still wearing their mask. Anyway, the federal response. So, here we are in... T- uh, stats. There we go. 1.3 million. Actually, the exact number is 1,347. One, no, excuse me. 1,347,000 cases. 81,000 deaths around that. And we still have no testing. But Trump thinks that we have prevailed. And although... I just read those stats to you. He had a press conference after like two weeks of not having a press conference. So it was a lot of things that was said. Um, He did mention about testing, even though there's still like no mass testing. Um, Because there's still people that's catching COVID in their house. Um, Because I know in New York, a lot of the COVID testing... I mean, a lot of the COVID positive tests are coming back is from people that was at home because there's people that do have lived with more than one person or more than three people in their house due to their living situation. Maybe one of their family members are essential workers. So nine times out of 10, some essential workers are exposed because the lack of PPE that most places do have like grocery stores or like if you work for security in a certain building or if you're like a, like a direct service worker or like a nurse or a doctor, more likely you're going to be exposed and you're going to expose your family. But it's not on purpose. It's just the fact is that that's just the situation. That's the situation that we're in. So that's just what it is. But that's where we are. But Trump did have a press conference, and that press conference was pretty, uh, it was pretty intense. Like, he ended it abruptly because due to the questions that he were, he was asked about testing and about, you know, I have some of the quotes like um, Francesca asked about the wearing a mask like he instructed his staff to wear a mask because I was breaking news, but he didn't have a mask on. And like two other um, officials from the human health, um, no, for the health and, and human services, um, HH, HHS did not have on mask while they were, you know, talking, whatever. A lot of the reporters had on masks. So one of the um, reporters like, why you don't have on a mask? And he gave a reason why. And it was like a, a vague answer. And then he was also asked about the Ahmad Arbery um, case, which I'm going to probably cover a little bit. And he basically said he saw the video. The video wasn't right, but there was some parts of the video that you didn't see, was not sure. A.K.A. he's defending the people that killed him. And we all know that. I mean, come on. Let's get real. Um, oh, thank you. My sister just said something. But okay. I'm, I'm sorry, she, but I love you too. Um, also, who else? Um, there's a couple of reporters that asked them about testing. But the, the main question was from this reporter at CBS. She asked them about the testing and why a whole bunch of Americans is dying. And then she said, well, you go ask the people in China. And he only asked her that because she was Chinese. That's racist. So when he was asking, why are you asking me that? Because I'm Chinese. So she basically went on 
and off at him. And um, he ended that shit abruptly because he was cornered. Now, he couldn't ask no more questions. That's good for him. Like, he's doing all these things. He just shut down the research for coronavirus. He basically lied about testing numbers. He, he, he lied about cases, but they prevail. Get the fuck out of here. Donald Trump didn't prevail shit. We're still locked in our houses. Still, states are partially opening. Some states are have seen rises in their cases because of the fast reopening. Because they believe the bullshit that he says each and every single day. That is why it's important. Still wear your mask. Still wash your hands. We're not out of this shit yet. Come on, we got 1.3 million cases. You're going to believe a liar? And it's sad because that's supposed to be the leader of the free world. I don't use Mr. President because I already explained my reasons because he doesn't deserve it at all. But that's where we are. In terms of the economy, he gloated about the economy saying that he has the best economy. He built the best economy in the world. Bullshit. We all know who built that economy and we all know that this person restored the economy, inherited a $1.3 trillion deficit, not million, not billion, but trillion dollar deficit, and left the office with a good economy, and Trump came in and fucked it all up, like he does, like he fucked everything up for the last three years. He fucked up so bad that everybody's locked in their house in, in, in the springtime. Yeah, that's where we are. In terms of um, Como's briefing, so I did say from before that we um, was on lockdown to June 6th. He extended it, but unfortunately he has not extended it. So it's still, we, we under the pause order till Friday. Friday it ends. However, part of the states are open. I don't believe New York City is opening right away because we only need four of the seven metrics. I didn't write all exactly the metrics down because I was trying to get them all, but I did write a few of them. And the first is the number of hospitalizations, and it had to be a 14-day decline. Also, the region is going to open in seven metrics, as I mentioned. Um, new hospitalizations under two per 100,000 residents. Also, um... Shared hospital beds, total hospital beds, 30,000 um, tested and shared um, total ICU beds. So we only have about, I don't know what four metrics we exactly um, got, but hopefully I can research that information and get it tomorrow. But we don't, we don't meet, we're not even out of the woods because I think it is 170,000 cases in New York City alone. Um, some of it does come from home because a lot of city homes in the city do have more than one person. And sometimes even have more than three or four people that live inside the house. So, of course, people are going to get the virus if one person or multiple people go out instead of one person going out. You got to wash your hands. You can't even have like too much interaction with the person. You got to make sure you got to wipe down everything and blah, 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 blah. So, that's one of the metrics um, of that. So there's seven metrics that um, have it. And also the death toll did increase. We do have a death toll of 161 today. Um, that's a very big contrast from where we were two to three weeks ago. Two to three weeks ago, we was at 700. And then we went down to four. Then we went down to two. Now we're down to one. And so, like, this thing is slowly but there's supposed to be a second wave happening in September or October around flu season. So, and there's no vaccine. And funding for the coronavirus research has been cut. So, we are nowhere near out of the woods. So, the best thing to do is um, keep sheltering in place. If you work remotely, that's great. Work remotely from home. If you're working as an essential worker, please be careful with your PPE. Even if you got to come with your own PPE every day, do it. Because things are, are not looking as great as, you know, as whatever. And we're really like, it's a struggle. And it's also meant to, messing with people mentally. Because a lot of people, you know, it's hard. 
it's hard and you have kids you got to do remote learning with them it's a new normal for everybody your home is turning to your office the school the gym see i don't have no kids but it's turning to the office and the gym for me right now i'm on, I'm on office mode because i'm doing this but um yeah that's 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 what we are as for Ahmad Arbery, um, this supposed to be a third man that's supposed to be um, investigated. That's the guy that I believe that did the recording. I think his friends were.